Hi friends, welcome to distributed computing system. Here we will discuss the module fourth that is the time and global states. What do you mean by distributed computing system? The distributed computing systems are the systems which are distributed across the different areas or different regions where they all together communicate with each other and work for a reason time and global states are very important in distributed computing system time represents the times which are there in communication with the distributed computing system global states represents the name distributed computing system itself says they are distributed across so their states should be as a global then only it will mean the distributed computing system we require require required the computers around the world to timestamp electronic commerce transaction consistently in a banking sectors each transaction should have its timing at what time the transaction happens either you are sending the amount or you are withdrawing amount internet transactions you are doing everything requires there and considering a physical time what do you mean by physical time is very important if you are considering any a computer in the distributed computing system the time at that local places we will consider it as a physical time logical time represents it is similar to Log logical time is a term for a system wide agreed up time that is not necessarily the same as a global physical time means whenever all together the, the computers or say distributed systems if they are agreed upon a particular time we will consider it as a logical time it is not similar to as that of a global physical time what do you mean by global physical time a single time which is set across all the computers that we will consider it, as, consider it as a global physical time next point each computer may have its own physical clock but the clock typically deviates and we cannot synchronize them perfectly the one the physical time of each computer is different so they deviate with each other then we cannot synchronize them perfectly so so we examine algorithm for the synchronizing the physical clock approximately and then go on to the explain logical clocks include the vectors these are all the first part of the module the absence of a global physical time makes it difficult to find out the state of our distributed program as they execute see there is no global physical time existed there in the in distributed computing system then that makes at what time a one system executes we are not knowing exactly so it is a very one difficulty existed in a distributed computing system we often need to know what state process a is in when process b is in certain state but we cannot rely on the physical clock to know what is a true at the same time and the second half of this module this chapter examines algorithms to de determine global state of a distributed computing systems despite the lack of global time for example if you consider e-commerce transaction involves uh, events at the merchant's computer and the banker's computers it is important for auditing purposes that those events are time stamped accurately by using the logical type uh, logical time we can make it means we, we can make it as approximate time of all the systems as equal by using the logical time instead of we are we are not having as a global physical time